In this video, I'm going to take the spreadsheet from the book Elements of Slot Design and replicate it in Slot Designer. First, I'll copy the symbol names to the clipboard to save manually typing them in. Then, right-click and paste the symbols. I'll add a comment, then the outline of a 5x3 slot game with a single pay line through the center line. I'll analyze it to see if there are any obvious errors. We're going to need a base game. And we have a play window, but no real strips, so let's go get some of those. The spreadsheet doesn't have the exact real strip layout, but it does have the number of symbols on each reel, so we can copy that. And paste it back into Slot Designer. I've specified the real strips, now I just need to say the game is using them. And let's just analyze it again. There's no errors this time, and I can see the RTP is zero, as would be expected because there's no payrolls. If we have a look at the real strips, we can see all the symbols are stacked. And playing the game, we also see the stacked symbols. We can automatically transform the real strip layout to spread the symbols out. This game has scatter and wild symbols. And we're going to need a pay table. Most of the payrolls pay left to right, so we'll copy them in as that, and then adjust the scatter for any afterwards. We can see the RTP of 85.2 matches the base game of the spreadsheet. And looking in the score window, we can see the statistics for the individual payrolls. The free game is essentially the same as the base game, so I'll just make a copy and rename it. Looking at the rules, we have scatters triggering from the base game to the free game, and the free game is the same as the base game, so we have re-trigger within the free game. The RTP of the entire game, base and free game, is now correct. Copying and pasting two almost identical games is not the best way of doing things. So we use metamorphic meters to persist state between the games. I'll delete one of the games and just use a single game to describe both base and feature. The maths again matches, so let's play it. I can use the mouse wheel to rotate the symbols on the reels. 
Let's see what happens if we get left four kings. Clicking respin, I can play the game that's currently on the screen. Or I can just play the game randomly as usual.